Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Veronica. I created this this blue smoky eye look just so you can see that you can wear blue eyeshadow. Just gotta make it work with um, compatible colors. If you guys enjoyed this look and if you like me or you just want to see how this turned out or how I did it, then just keep on watching. Hopefully my camera is in focus. So, first off, gotta prime my lids. I usually like to use my LA Girl Concealer because I just feel like my eyeshadows pop. A lot more with this concealer. It's essential. You have to prime your lids. Like, if you don't prime your lids, then what are you doing with your life? Like, you want your eyeshadows to stay and not get muddy. If you don't prime your lids, they're gonna get all over the place. Now using my BH120 brush, it's like a flat top brush. I'm gonna blend my concealer in. It's a lot harder to do this on camera than to do it in person, just saying. You have to make sure it's blended really well. All right, now that they're nice and blended, I'm just gonna take my Fit Me Matte Poreless and 230 Natural Buff. This is a loop press powder and I'm just gonna lightly put this all over my lids this is gonna help set my eyelids I do have very oily eyelids <laughs> I'm a hot heat mess set your concealer that way your concealer stays in put and this helps your eyeshadow stay on a lot longer so I'm gonna use this Mary Kay one it's just called eye color it's fluffy so I'm gonna use it and then I'm going to dip into my Burnt Orange and Raw Sienna colors from my ABH Modern Renaissance palette. And I'm just going to lightly, ooh, dust this all over my lid. You want to blend, swipe, swipe. This is how you tap off the X's. Tap off the haters. Tap off the X's. You know, when you're trying to get that poppin' ass, same eyeshadow, twin ass look. You know what I'm saying? Where's my packing brush? Now, using this packing brush that I got from Amazon into my Bandersnatch. 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 It's this, like, nice blue. It kind of matches my um, flannel. What I'm going to do is just basically dip this packing brush in here. And all I'm going to do is kind of... messily place it on my lid. It doesn't really have to be perfect or precise. I'm trying to have you see my big ass Mount Everest over here. Just gonna pack it like this and I'm gonna do the other side exactly like that, okay? Alright, I'm back guys. Now, I did my other lid. So this is what it looks like, right? Pack the color and just make sure it's like nice and even. And what we're gonna do is diffuse the color just a little bit around the edges, you know? Because it's a smoky eye look. It's supposed to be gradient, blending in, fading out, doing its thing. I'm just gonna take this fluffy brush and it has some powder on it. I already used it, I'm sorry. And I'm basically just gonna do like shield swiping motions around the edges and this is gonna help diffuse the color. Obviously, this is going to make the color a little bit less intense, but we're just going to add a little bit more color later on to just, you know, help it out. And then... It doesn't look like it's doing much, but trust me, it is. You have to do this. Like, if you don't blend when you're doing your eyeshadows, then what are you doing with life? You honestly need to blend every look. Now, what I'm going to do, because I'm feeling creative, I'm going to add some mustard yellow onto the eye. A mustard yellow would go great with this color, I feel, in my sincere opinion. So I'm going to go into my Venus 2 palette. I'm going to use this mustardy shade. So I'm going to use this brush. It's from Urban Decay. It came with the Alice in Wonderland Looking Through the Glass palette, the one that I was using for the blue. And I'm going to use the thinner, more blendy side. This is like really thin and it's going to be precise enough to go into, into my crease. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to dip in here. And I'm just going to lightly put it over my crease right here. 
If you don't have a crease like me, just create one, it's fine. It's no biggie. So I'm basically done, right? Well, we're basically done. So when you have these two colors, you just have to merge them more, just because this is a really dark color. So now I'm gonna take a little bit more of that burnt orange. I'm just gonna take more burnt orange and raw sienna. Tap off the excess, guys. And place it in the center. This is gonna help really blend the mustardy yellow together. A little weird in my opinion, but I like it. I like weird colors. Since I diffuse the color, you can add a little bit more blue in the very center of the lid. Like right here. I'm gonna go back with a fluffy brush and just kind of lightly. So yeah, now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna add some wig liner, eyelashes, do the rest of my face, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so basically I popped on my eyelashes, did the rest of my face, now let's finish up the eye look. I'm gonna pop into that blue again, and then with this like elf angled brush, got this for a dollar and it works a bomb. I'm going to take some of that, go off the exit, and then I'm going to like look up while I do this. Just kind of Just going to line my eye with the blue. Just add some more. Okay, makeup brush. I'm gonna use the same side that I used for the crease, and I'm gonna use that mustard again. And I'm gonna put it all over under my eye and just kind of blend it together. That's basically the look. I'm gonna add some all my all my mascara. Now using Fly from the Venus 2 palette, I'm just going to add some inner corner highlight. I'm going to use my finger. I'm going to add some lip, Tardis lip paint in birthday suit as my nude lip and then I'm going to top it with another nude lip because this look is very dramatic so you kind of want something that's going to be a little bit mm, toned down. If you use a nude lip it'll make the eye look more wearable especially because it's a blue and I'm already wearing blue you know it's like too much. But I want more like brownie tones to it so I'm going to add my Maybelline. Add the Maybelline Nude Embrace 650 and these are like six bucks. These are very affordable, they're very matte and creamy and beautiful. I'm going to add this Clean Color Madly Matte Lip Gloss. Uh, it doesn't have the shade, oh it's caramel. I kind of like it with the look, but I kind of don't. Alright guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next. 
what you didn't like, what you liked, if you laughed or whatever, you know, the drill with that. See you guys next time. Stay tuned.